Hey there, this is Lynette Chandler from techbasedmarketing.com. Anyhow, uh, last week I had a session, a tech training session, at which runs every Thursday night. Uh, that briefly, we went through how to share your videos privately, especially like on uh, your membership sites or, or videos that you've created just for your customers and you don't want to put it up on YouTube. And uh, because of the time restrictions, and also certain difficulties with showing you uh, the exact breakdown step by step, I, I decided that it was best to simply create a whole new recording to really show you how I, I personally do this. If you are using a system like Camtasia, which I used to record the, the live session and also what I'm using to record this session, then much of the work is already done for you. In fact, during a live session, I mentioned if, if you don't have a FLV player, you don't have a flash player, your, your video format is, some, is in something else. I recommend it using something called Video Web Wizard. That too will cut down a lot of your work. Now, what's the, the, the great thing about these uh, software that I mentioned is because they generate all the necessary uh, HTML code for you. They generate the necessary file formats for you. That is a big, big, big help. And, and personally, I won't even try to do it any other way because I, I have, even though my work is technical, I, when it comes to my own stuff, I really don't want to spend an hour and two or two trying to figure all this out, patch things together when I could have the software generated for me in a couple of minutes and I'm ready to upload and, and get it up for my clients. All right, so without further ado, I have right here the video recording of the live session that I need to put up on a, a website. I'm gonna go through the first scenario. The first scenario right now is to show you how I would host this file by myself and how I would publish it th through WordPress pages. So, of course, naturally, the first step to any web publishing, whether you're publishing video, audio, whatever, is to upload. Absolutely. So here I have, what you see over here is this file folder called IMTS001. This folder is generated for me by Camtasia. Like I said, once it generates the folder, it's got, and I open this up, it's got all the necessary files generated for me. It's got all the necessary um, flash supplemental files that need to make the video play. All right, and it's also looky here, right here. This is important. Uh, the HTML file. Now, what you could do is you could actually um, go up one step and actually upload this whole folder into your website over here. Okay, and then simply get the link to this HTML file and link it to your uh, members area or or your customers only area. That would be for if you're publishing uh, using standard HTML. That's what I would do. I mean, if you don't have, if you're not using Drupal, WordPress, uh, other any other content systems that we have out there, that's that's the best way to do it. That way, you don't have to mess around with anything. But right now, I'm using WordPress, so I gotta do a little bit of a nagging. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply again upload this whole folder into my website now you can if you are the type who likes to organize things you can definitely create a new directory and call it videos and then input upload this inside the videos directory whatever you do just make sure that you get the correct URL okay and this is basic web building I'm not going to show you how to get URLs so you should already know this uh, to make things simple, I'm just simply going to upload the whole folder in here. As you can see, it's already come up here. And I'll let uh, Fauzilla do its job. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you the HTML uh, code that is generated by Camtasia, which is this one. This file right here. Okay, I'm going to open up in plain text. And this is the source code. Now, the thing is, don't try to recreate this in WordPress. It's just a, a huge pain. So what you need to do is you need to scroll down if you're using Camtasia. That is, um, you scroll down 
to the spot here you see where this green spot now it may not be green for you if you're opening it in wordpad or something like that but uh, I'm using something called PS pad and that's why you see it green because it will highlight for me uh, you know the things that are commented out now, this is commented out by default when Camtasia generates this file so, and what it is here it says users looking for simple object media embed text can paste the needed text below so this is what I need I need this this whole spot from DIV media to the end of the DIV I'm gonna copy that uh, code and I'm gonna go right to my WordPress and I'm going to create a new page and I'm just gonna call it demo video up um, sharing okay and then let me turn over here make sure this is it is in HTML mode and I'm gonna paste that code in here now you you have to do this as admin because WordPress does not like flash embedding and now we're not done yet because now you have to code for the player what you need to do is you need to get the correct URLs to the videos that are playing so first things here I want to look tell you show it to you is um, find the URLs okay first thing you see here is this IMTS 001 controller so you need to get the URL to that um, and that uh, first frame PNG you also need to get the URL to that let me check if it's finished recording uh, recording <laughs> finished uploading so here I am it's still got one more file to upload but the files that I really need the URLs to are already uploaded just now what we said we needed to URL to the 01 controller now if you've been building web pages you know how to figure out where the URL is if you're pretty new um, I'm not sure what FTP you, you will be using but in FileZilla that you can actually simply right click and get click on that copy URLs to clipboard and then you can come down here switch back to your WordPress and paste now this is not the correct URL yet uh, you need to edit this URL a little bit you need to take out the public underscore HTML and you need to change this part right here to if HTTP colon dash dash now that would be the full URL in fact now that you have this up here this is the URL and the f URL folder you can actually copy that and uh, put it up here too where we needed the first frame yeah so it will be same website same folder and that's where the uh, first page uh, first frame image is and let me see if there's oh right here I'm just here you also need to definitely add the URL to that here fix that URL so that it's uh, pointing to the right space places and then from then on it should be good so what you need to do is you click I'm just gonna click save draft because uh, I'm, I'm not planning to publish this on this website but once you save draft or, or you publish uh, when you view the page you should see the video come up right here now of course this video is structured a little wider than my theme and all that and you gotta fix the theme but um, you should already know how to do this that's generally how you would share it your video on your website so if if this is this WordPress page is in the protected con uh, members area then you're good to go you know you're, you're protected and that was pretty pr easy and painless now some of you are probably thinking about Amazon I know I had a question about hosting this on Amazon S3 but uh, I, I have a feeling I'll probably create a another video for the, for for that to explain how to do that okay so there you go hope you enjoyed it and found it useful thank you for joining me and come say hello to me at techbasemarketing.com forward slash blog that's my blog see ya have a good day